Hey guys, Sean Lentz here from Appalachian DIY and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be laying out our building. We're going to be putting up batter boards and getting our outside dimensions so we can dig our footer. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to get the outside dimensions of our building. The outside dimensions of the actual building itself is 36 feet in the back and 21 feet 4 inches on the sides. We have to take into account uh, the pad that we're going to be pouring this on. It's a monolithic, uh, so the slab and the footer are all one unit. Our footer is 12 inches wide. We're using 8 inch blocks. We're going to have 2 inches on either side. Um, so we need to add two inches to the outside of our dimensions so we can compensate for the entire pad itself and the footer. Um, so what we're going to have is we're going to have 36 and 4 inches overall length in the back and 21 feet 8 inches on the sides. So we have our pins here that we're going to be pushing into the ground. These are going to be the extreme outside limits of our footer. So now that we have our pins placed in our back, we can go ahead and find our top corner up here for our garage. So what we're going to do is from this back corner here, we're going to measure up 21 feet, 8 inches. That's our overall length. And then we're going to pull from our pin in the far corner up here we need to find the leg length of that which is the hypotenuse we're making a right triangle so what we're going to do is jump over to our calculator to figure out what our hypotenuse length is so we'll go to our feet and inches calculator here we'll go down to tools triangle and what we will do is we will punch in our values for our a side which is our back we have 36 feet four inches for the total width and then for our B side we have 21 feet and eight inches so that gives us 42 feet three inches and five eighths so that is what we are going to pull across at a diagonal now that we know our hypotenuse we can go ahead and pull tape for our corner So what we're doing is I'm having them burn one foot um, so that they can accurately put the pin um, directly over where that needs to be. So what we're doing is we had 42 feet and 3 inches and 5 eighths. So we're burning a foot. So we're at 43 feet, 3 inches and 5 eighths. And we're burning a foot over here. So instead of 21 eight, we're at 22 eight. So we're going to take both of these put them together so we have 43 3 inches and 5 8 we have 22 inches and an 8 inch 22 feet and 8 inches so we're gonna pull these tight and we're gonna put a nail right here so this right here is going to be um, exactly where the top corner of our building is going to be so what we're going to do now that we have our four points in here is we're going to shoot for our batter boards. So right now we all have the uh, shot off a grade stake to get our um, level of our pad. And what we need to do now is we need to calculate how high to put those batter boards. So what we're going to do is we are at <clears throat> three feet, nine and a quarter inches right now. So we need to account for our four inches of stone and also our four inches of concrete and that is going to be the very top of our form. So what we're going to do is drop down eight inches. So we're going to go to three feet, one and a quarter inch. So right there is where the top of our form is going to be and also our batter boards. So what we have here is we have our batter board. It's just a two by four. Um, we're gonna be pulling a line across. So we need to be able to hit onto this board and then also from behind here like this. So we're gonna put this board almost at like a 45 degree angle, kind of pointed at our uh, far pin over there. So we're just gonna stake this thing in. OK, 
Hey, so what we're doing is the top of our board, uh, we shot off of our laser. This right here is the top of our form. So we want this um, even across our entire pad. That way we have no change in elevation when we run our string lines. We're also gonna take some grade stakes, stake them in here at an angle and screw them into our batter board. That way it's rigid, so when we pull our lines nice and tight, it's not gonna move. So now what we can do is we can run our string line on our batter boards. All we're gonna do is nail it on there and run it directly on top of our nails. So how I make these knots for these uh, batter boards is you just have the tight side of your string here, come back a little bit, and all we're going to do is keep it tight and make a loop. We're going to lay this string over top like this. And then with our slack end, we're gonna come up through and this is gonna form our loop. We can put that right around there. And then all you do to tighten it up is just pull on that. And that makes a nice tight string. If you need it tighter, you just kind of pull that in like that. And what's nice about this knot is that it just pulls out like that. So what we are doing is we are measuring from that far corner in the back and we are measuring all the way over down to here. So what we're looking for is 37.4 because we're burning a foot. Okay, so you can see here that we are three eighths um, too far over this way. So what we need to do is bring this back. So what we're gonna do is measure three eighths up here at our nail head. So we're just gonna pop this off from this last nail head we had. We're gonna measure three eighths of an inch over. We'll put our nail back in. Put our string line back on and we'll remeasure. You ready? We're gonna pull this tight. Perfect, we're right on our 37.4, we're burning a foot. All right, very good. So now that we have our back line set with our width, we can come up here, we're gonna um, find our hypotenuse again and kind of see how far our building is out of square and just kind of fix everything up here on the front now. So what we ended up when we got our hypotenuse length is that this corner is too long, so it's pushed out, and the far corner is too short, so it's kind of sunken in. So what has happened is, is that we've slightly skewed off our building. So what we need to do is just bring back it into square, and I'll show you guys how to do that right now. All right, so we have this corner pushed out this way. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this line right here back in a little bit. Um, and what we're gonna do is bring it back in probably just about an eighth. So we're gonna pull our nail out. Right here's our nail hole. And what we're gonna do is measure back an eighth from our nail hole. So right here is our mark. It just brings it just the slightest back this way. We'll reset our nail. And retie our string in. So now we're an eighth of an inch um, back this way. We're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side. We're just gonna move it this way also, an eighth of an inch. And there you go, we are dead on for this one. Now we'll measure for our hypotenuse. So what we're looking for here is 43, because we're burning a foot, it would have been 42, but we're burning a foot, 43, three and five eighths. We're a 16th shy, so I am really happy with that. We're gonna let her go at that. So now we have our building squared up. We are perfect at a diagonal on our uh, top left side here to my top right. We're just a 16th out of place. I'm happy with that. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is move on to the next step. We are going to spray lines underneath our string line, and that is gonna be where we are digging for our footer. 